Good morning, everybody. So uh, today is my birthday. Woo! And I am officially, officially, I'm 30. I'm not exactly sure how to feel about this. So uh, my 30-year-old mind decided that I was going to make a pros and cons list. The pros and cons of being 30. And um, first con is I have to put these things on to read the pros and cons list that I so antiquely wrote on a piece of paper with a pen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start with the pro because positives, right? So positively, um, I'm emotionally mature. Like I am emotionally mature enough to have a long-term committed relationship and get married, yay. That is something that I could absolutely not do in my 20s. I was not ready, nor was I stable or, yeah, no, that wasn't happening in my 20s. Cons um, of my 30s. Well, um, I've only been 30 for eight hours and 29 minutes. Um, my memory sucks. So there's that about 30. Woohoo! Things that I did not think I was gonna have to worry about in my 30s, acne. Like, what the hell? When you're a teenager, you're like, oh, this sucks, but I'll grow out of it, whatever. No, in your 30s, you still have to deal with pimples. Sucks. And wrinkles. I'm getting my eyes. Well, and now it takes a little more makeup to cover them up, but whatever. Pro, I don't think I really look 30 yet, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage for as long as humanly possible. You know, another pro is I don't look 16 anymore, so I don't get carded as often when buying alcohol. Not that I buy alcohol a lot, but you know, it that saves me like a whole 20 seconds each time. So, woo, time saver. Okay, so being 30, a pro is, now I have like all these really cool stories from my 20s, all these like experiences I get to share with people who are younger than me and I can be like, oh, in my day or when I was younger, you know, say those things that like you hated when your parents and then older aunts and uncles said to you when you were younger. I get to say all those now. It's actually quite liberating. Con, a lot more responsibilities, a lot more bills, a lot more expectations, but I do not feel remotely close to mature enough to be adulting this hard. Does that feeling of being an adult ever actually kick in? Is it supposed to at some point? I mean, I'm 30. I really thought that I would feel like an adult by now. But really, I just feel like kind of like a 16-year-old with a mortgage. Pro. Okay, so I was born in 1990. 1990. So I still remember, like, a time before everyone had their own computer, before cell phones, before Facebook, before MySpace, before all of that, where you actually went outside and played with your friends. Um, but at the same time, I'm not so old that... I can't keep up with today's technology. Like I can still use it, right? Cons of my 30s, food. <laughs> All of a sudden, a couple years ago, my body could no longer handle milk. <sighs> you have no idea how much I miss milk and my cereal, milk and coffee, <laughs> cheese. And now every time I eat chocolate or I try to eat pizza, I pay for it. Not only in weight gain straight to my hips, but like, I pay for it. That's all you need to know. So, pro, um, I have all these cool accomplishments now, because like, I have time to do things. Do I remember doing half of them? No. 
Um, but I did them. There's photographic proof. Another actually really cool pro of being 30 is now I have enough experiences and memories and things to kind of know who my real friends are, know who I can depend on, know who's there for fun, but like, you know, really isn't going to be there to support me when I really need them. So that's actually quite comforting. Well, those are my thoughts from the first eight hours and 38 minutes of being 30. Now I'm gonna go and clean my house and do my laundry and put together all my taxes paperwork, pay a couple bills, and take my dogs for a walk. Maybe take a nap, that would be nice. We'll see.